Well, hello there, my lovely Lego addicts. Do you remember that I was building a park 200 million years ago and then I never finished it? Well, it's finished now. It's actually been nearly finished for like months, but I had a section on the right hand side where I wanted more trees. And I have a lot of trees, but they were just in the mock that I was displaying. And now that mock is finished, I could take the trees back. The romantic side of this park is really similar to that old park, just because I loved it so much. I did try to put the pavilion back in, but the pavilion is white, similar to the Botanical Gardens building. And I felt like it threw off the balance a lot. Yes, let's dive right into the footage now. Can I maybe see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to make that sort of like a wild nature romantic non-straight side and I'm trying to make this as like a formal garden which is kind of what I was laying out to do. goodness as you can see there's actually quite a lot of stuff happening so you can see that i finished the park itself if you look at it the left hand side is a romantic park and the right hand side in my head is like a sort of arboretum so there's four different types of trees and around the tree stems are sort of like what foliage and plants would naturally grow around them so in my head they're like sort of four separate habitats i kind of felt like i wanted sort of like educational feel to that side where it's more structured and organized, less romantic, less wild, but still sort of like, look, this is a tree and this is the foliage you'd find around it in the wild. And this is the type of bees that would live here and the type of insects that it would encourage. So that's kind of what's happening in my mind there. I'm really glad with the way it turned out. I was really worried that building the Botanical Garden building in front of the Natural History Museum would really take away from the building. But I think though, yes, it hides the museum a bit, I think it kind of really adds to that feel of education and I think it worked out in the end. And then obviously you saw the square next to my new stand that I slightly changed. It's something that I'm so proud of. You saw me working on it in my last update. Um, I was so unsure using the colours that I did. It's very, very out there and I'm sure some of you were like, oh, what the hell's that? However, I think it's really nice. I did quite a lot of different mosaics there and though I wasn't originally going to use my Gandalf statue because he was already situated in my market, I decided to move him down onto this square. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, like so colourful and eye-catching and it's very different to anywhere else where I have streets in the city because I've always opted for the grey option. So I was quite pleased to tie some of the colours of the buildings behind it back in. So you've got the dark orange for like the corner garage. You've got the tan for the police station that's behind it. There's like lots of colours that tie back to the tiles that I use. So I am thrilled about it. I think it feels like such a cool square. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed seeing that. It was really fun to share a mock again with you. It's been a while. Um, but yeah, stuff is still happening in the background. As you can see, it's just very slow. Yeah, thank you for being here. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next update. Goodbye.